Hi, everybody. It's Cindy again. And um, today's craft is a little book that I made and I made it into a necklace. It's got little pages. You can write in it if you want. Um, and instead of doing it with um, printed scrap uh, book paper cardstock. What I did was in your bags, I put just blank uh, pieces of cardstock so that I um, printed out these little books that you can cover them with so they look like actual books. Um, so that's why, in case you're wondering, in your bag why um, the cardstock isn't doesn't have a decorative design on it. Okay, now I cut everything out to make it easier for you. But I'm going to read the dimensions. This isn't going to be a long uh, craft, but I'm going to tell you what I put in. Um, and I, I think what I'll do is when uh, you pick up your bags. I'm going to put the directions to the paper, I mean to the uh, book, in your bag so that if you want to make another one, you have your the dimensions here to cut. So to make the book, you have to have two pieces of scrapbook paper, and they have to be two and a half by two inches. So you just need two of these. Then you're, these inside, these are made from actually a cereal box or just a thin box that maybe um, crackers come in or anything like that. And those are uh, one inch by three quarter inches. So you have these two. And then your spine is very tiny. It's like one inch. Um, how big is this one? One inch uh, by a quarter inch. And that's going to go in the middle. I gave you some beads to put on your uh, um, this is like a leather um, necklace. I figured it would be easy for people who aren't used to doing jewelry. You can just string the beads on. And there's a little um, fastener or link that we're going to use to put on the book so you can um, so you can attach it. Now this would be cute too. I thought about making earrings as a match. Um, so if you want to give that some thought, you know, you can make a pair to go with the necklace and have a necklace and earring set. But we're going to get started. So you're going to need glue. Um, and you don't have to, but I got out my hot glue gun because you're going to get a bundle of pages like this that you're going to stick inside like that to make the book. So I think it will adhere better to the um, scrap uh, cardstock than if you use regular glue. I mean, you can, but make sure that you keep its um, pressure on it so that it stays. Um, I have these flat nose pliers. You can use any pliers to open um, this up. You know, you're just going to twist it a little bit.
and you're going to need some scissors and something with a point on it, like a thumbtack or this is a nail. Um, if you have, um, I forget what they call them, anything to poke a small hole through. A hole puncher is too big. It'll make too big of a hole. So you need like a tiny, tiny uh, hole puncher, like the, the point of the um, pen. Okay, so all you're going to do now is you're going to take your piece of uh, cardstock and you're going to take your little cardboard and we're going to glue it on here. Now the edges should be about a quarter away on each side. So if you take some glue, and I'm just going to put glue on here. And I'll try to get it to the middle. And I'd say about that much is good from the side. You're going to do the same for this side. And you're going to glue it down like that. And then this is your spine actually to the book. So you're going to glue that down into the middle. Let's see if I can just get this to stick. Okay. Now I'm just going to put some glue here. This is a glue pen. It's made by 3M uh, Scotch. I like it because, you know, you can hold it easier. Okay, so I'm going to put that right in the middle there. Maybe just move those a little bit. Okay, so your piece is going to look like this. Now and try to get it as even as you can. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the more precise it is, the better. I'm going to move that a little bit there. Okay, we might just turn it like this just to make the glue stick a little better. Okay, so just let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to move my beads over to here. And I don't want them to fall. Okay, I just moved the cardboard because it's uh, good to have this on a flat surface. So once these are dry, which they pretty much are, 
um, you're going to take the side. And fold it. Oops, I'm sorry. You're going to go this way first. Yes, see the glue isn't dry yet, but I'm just going to push that down a little bit. The glue. This glue usually dries pretty quick, but it's not today, of course, because I'm doing it in front of you guys. All right. So that that's how it should look anyway. It's pretty, pretty good. Now you're going to take your um, scissors and you're going to cut and leave at least a quarter inch away from the corner. like so. Okay, and then these you can just throw out the little pieces. Okay, now you're going to go over to this side. That's why you want it to be even because you want to have an even fold. So you're going to go over and just fold this up like this. I believe it moved. And try like to get it as close as you can to the end. And do the same on the other side. And you're going to glue this now. Okay. I'm just going to go like this. And you're going to put glue on the other side. And it just helps to fold it before you glue it because you have that crease there already. That's what that looks like. And then you move that. I'm going to need a pen. I'll just use to push down on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's so tiny. Now you're going to take, uh, you should fold this first. And you want that as close as you can get to it. The closer, the better, like with your corners. I should be in a little bit more, but that's okay. Okay, so if you want to put I'm going to put glue on the outside here. Okay. 
And we do this side. And again, bring it to the edge like that and just you get the corners as, as tight as you can and just use your fingernail if you don't mind getting glue on it same with this okay so that's what your in the inside of the book is gonna or the inside inside of the cover, I should say. Now, this other piece that you got, you're just gonna stick it over, glue it over this, and just cut it to the size that you need to cover the book. So, let's see if I put this here. I'm just gonna fold it and see. That's good. You know, you just have to kind of measure it for yourself. So that's going to fit that way. Great. And then I'm just going to cut some of that off. And I still need more. And I'm just and that so it's even. Okay, so I'd say about that much. Let's see, that should do it. There we go. Okay, so see how it fits. Let me get this out of the way. I have such a small workspace, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so. This is what the top, you know, the inside of the book. Now we're going to glue this piece over this. So I think I'll put my glue on here. You know, put enough, you know, make sure you get enough glue that uh, it'll hold it. There you go. And I'm just going to push down on the glue. I did get a lot of glue on there. Um, let me get use a piece of paper. Just try and get this off. No, just clean off the excess glue. Now, while you have your the book like this, this is where you're going to make your hole because you're going to end up putting these pages in the spine. So you want to have the hole there already. Okay, so I am going to get my cardboard back because I don't want to poke the desk. And, um, you know, you could take like even a pen and you just want to make sure that, let me see, I would say maybe an eighth down or a quarter, you know, in the middle. Um,
Oh, here I have my my uh, really sharp scissors. So I'd say um, maybe we should fold the book first. You might want to make it a little bit smaller, the pages, or maybe not. I'm just kind of rushing because um, I don't want to have to have you guys sit here while it dries. But if you fold it like that, at least you can get an idea of where your middle is. And I guess it's kind of better to work your glue in like that. I mean, if you end up with a little bit over, it's okay. But isn't that cute? <laughs> um, so while you do that, I'm going to just kind of, you know, just kind of push the glue. You can use something uh, round just to push it down. And if there is like some excess, we could just cut it off at the end. But um, anyhow, okay, so we're going to take, I'm going to take my scissor. And I'm going to put a hole right there. Just be careful. Please don't cut yourself. You really have to work it because um, my pen point and push and push there we go I think I got it it's kind of good because the glue is soft so it makes the paper soft before it um, hardens so you really want to get that hole if you can see it see from the inside. Okay, and just kind of just make sure the glue is glued on there. Okay, and I am gonna just cut this. I'm gonna trim what's hanging over. There we go. Okay, you just play with it just to get it into the shape. Okay, now I'm going to take my fastener and I'm going to pick it up with my pliers. And usually you could bend it open with your other finger. I'm just going to twist it like that. You can see that it's twisted. And then you're just going to put that 
You don't even have to use the uh, there we go. Just push that through. So you have a clasp for your necklace. I'm just gonna make it so that it's, you know, closed because you don't want it to fall off. So there's um, the book. Now, what I thought would be nice is I'm going to show you I have this little cover and it says white boots on it. I never read this book. But what I'm going to do is I figured you guys could glue it over the outside so that I should have had really us do this before um, we put the clasp in because this is going to... Um, I didn't do this before. This was just a quick thought. So the one that I made was different than this, but I thought this is cuter because you can have your own little book on the front. So if you just measure it and find out here, I guess let me do it this way. I guess you can just kind of glue it. There we go. Let me see, where's that hole? Okay, I got it. Great. Just going to make it a little bigger. There we go. Okay, so if you do that, Okay, and then you're just going to take your glue and you could glue that right on there. So let's see, this is new for me, so I'm going to try this with you. Glue here. Okay, and just try and get that hole to match up. Now I'm just playing with it to get the glue to stick.
Okay. Now I'm going to put the fastener through. Just have to take your time and work it through the paper. Let's see. Let's do this again. There we go. So there's the little book. And now, if you want to trim it, you can. Um, I even thought of putting um, Mod Podge over it because that kind of seals it. That's up to you if you want to do that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is take uh, take these pages that I have and I left the clip on for you. And I am going to use my glue gun and I am going to put uh, glue on the inside like this. And I'm going to take this and hold it for a little bit. Like so. Just kind of work that glue again. That's the main thing is you just have to keep working the glue to stick. And there you have your little book. Isn't that adorable? I love it. So you could let that dry for a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is I gave you some uh, like leather and you can uh, YouTube if you want how to make a slip knot so that you can make the necklace to be as long or as short as you want to. Um, I did not do that, uh, or I'm not going to show you that because I am just learning that and I feel like I'm going to misguide you. So what I did was first I'm going to put my, you could put your beads on whichever way you want. I'm going to put the long, the long one. Well, first I'm gonna put my book. And try to get it right in the middle. I made it long so that you can um, make it whatever length you want. Uh, and then you can tie it or um, put ends on it if you want, end caps. Uh, 
and these um, beads are wooden and they might have a little, you might have to get like the scissor and just kind of go in there. So you're just going to take it, push it through like so. Where's my other one? I think this needs to be opened a little bit too. And this one can go here. And I have little round yellow. I gave these each two little longer beads and little ones like um, little balls. So I did that. Now, if you want, what I've done in the past is I've um, tied like a knot really close to the bead so it wouldn't move. So you're just going to push it close to where, so it's like that. See it? And I'm going to do that on the other one too. So you want to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until it gets really close to the bottom, or to the top of the bead, I should say. There you go. And there's your necklace. And you could just, if you want, tie it like this. And there you go, there's your uh, book necklace. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, you know, if you, you want to make it as a gift for someone, you can always, I got these prints online. They were free to print. And, um, you know, if you have a book, maybe that is special to someone, you can print um, maybe the book from Amazon, maybe cut and paste it uh, or copy and paste it, I mean, and, uh, give it as a gift. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I look forward to our next craft. Have a great weekend. Bye.